Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Python. We are going to be learning how to create a database today using the SQLite free library and also integrating that into a graphical user interface using the Tekinta library. So to start with we'll need to import those libraries. So we're importing SQLite free and we're importing it as SQL which will save us writing quite as much code and we're also importing the Tekinta library to create our GUI. So the first thing we need to do is connect to a database and we do that in this way. We give it a name so in this case I'm calling it high score DB for high score database and now instead of having to write out SQLite free because I've imported SQLite free as SQL I can just write SQL dot connect high score dot DB this will create, if it doesn't exist, our database. If it does exist, it will connect to it. The next thing we'll do is create a cursor object. So a cursor object allows us to execute commands within our database to navigate it and gives us all sorts of functionality. And I'm just storing that in a variable name called C. So the next thing you do is obviously create your database table. And this is the command. Now the key things to note here is C is obviously the same variable name I used here. Execute is the command I'm going to run and I'm creating a table if not exists. Now this is important because you don't want to be overwriting your table every single time you run the code. So if you put if not exists before the name of the database table it will not overwrite. So important. Next we create our fields. So we're going to have one for name and it's going to be um, a text uh, field, one for our score which is going to be an integer and one for our level which will also be an integer. So that creates our table. Next we need to be able to add data in and view the data. So for that I'm going to write a couple of subroutines. So here is our first and we're going to call it add data because it's going to add data. So these lines of code here, these three are doing very similar things. They are going to get whatever is entered into the name entry, score entry and level entry fields in our graphical user interface and store them in variables called name, score and level. Next again we use the cursor object to execute the command insert into high scores so that's the name of the table we made up here and then the values. You need the same amount of question marks as the, the, the amount of fields that you have in your database. And you can see here I've got three, so there are three question marks. And then after the comma, in brackets, you put the variables you want to be swapped into those placeholders and added to the database. And then we need to commit it to the database in order to make it a permanent change. So next thing we need to do is to be able to see the data. So for that I'm just going to use another function. So here you can see I've just written a function called cData. So again I'm using the cursor object and select star from high scores. Star is a while card for everything, for all. So this will go to the database table and get absolutely everything. Then we use the fetch all command and that will store everything that we've got from the database into a tuple called rows. Next we loop through the tuple and we print out the contents of it. Now doing it this way means we'll print out the contents line by line. In a later tutorial I will show you how to get this all into the graphical user interface but for now this will print out into the window in idle. So we've got our basic functionality for our database. Now we need to have our graphical user interface to tie everything together. So first off, we're going to create a window and I'm calling it window and we're giving it a title so that, you know, it looks a bit neater and it's a database editor. That's what we're making today. Next, we need to make our buttons for adding things to the database and calling the functions we've made earlier. So here are our two buttons because we've got two functions we can call. We can either add data or see the data. So this one will allow us to view the database. So the text on the button will be view database. Command equals see data calls the see data function. 
And again, in a very similar way, the text on the button will be add database and we'll call the add data function. Next, we need to allow people to enter their data. So we're going to need some entry fields and we'll also need some labels above those entry fields so that people know what data to enter into which text entry field. So let's just get a bit of space. There we go. So here we have the one for the person to enter in their name. So we're giving it a text label of enter name and then we have the text entry field. So you'll notice here name entry is the same as this. So name entry dot get, what this actually does, it says go and find the name entry field and get whatever's entered into it. Fairly straightforward. And then we repeat exactly the same thing for the score and the level. So we pop those in here. And now we have some labels and entry fields for people to enter in their score and their level. Now finally, we need to add those buttons to the screen and add the labels and add the entries. So to do that, we simply use these lines of code. <clears throat> so this will add the view button and dot pack is a command that will basically place it on the GUI in a centralized position and they'll go onto the GUI into the order that you place them here in the code. So view button will get put at the top, name label will be put next, name entry will be put next, and then we do exactly the same for the final labels, entries and buttons, like so. So now they've all been added to our GUI, we need to get the window to open and run. So we do that by saying window.mainloop, and that will open up our window and everything will now work. But one final thing, it's good practice to close the database once you've finished using it. So the last thing I'm going to do here is close the database. Okay, so now we've finished our code. The next thing to do is save and run it. And once you save and run it, you will get the graphical user interface up here. Now at the moment, it's very small. It's not looking particularly amazing. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to resize it, how to style it to make it look better. And I'll even show you how to put your own little favicon on here as well. But let's see, it's got the basic functionality. So if we enter in a name, let's call him Bob. Say Bob has scored, I don't know, 23 points and poor Bob is only on level one. If we add that to the database. Now it's been added, but you won't see anything happening yet. If we click on view database here, you can see the contents of our database and you can see the values here, Bob 23 and one. That was some testing I did earlier. So it's now got two values. If we to enter another name, so let's call this guy Fred and Fred maybe has got, I don't know, 200 points and he is on level five. Add it to the database, and if we view the database, you can now see that we've got the testing entry I put in earlier, the Bob entry that I put in just a moment ago, and Fred there as well. So there we have it. There you have the basic functionality of having a graphical user interface to be able to view and enter data. And in the next tutorial, we'll go over how to um, make it look better and how to get this data also printed out within the GUI. Thank you for now and catch you all next time.